With Alison Davis, of course, our resident chef, and we're over here at Wild Time, Everything which is, is where green. everything's <laughs> green. <laughs> exactly. Okay, talk to me a little bit about you. You're coming up with something quite interesting. I know. I'm. I'm a little bit thrown. Well, I've been slightly obsessed with this, and I'm starting to create recipes using it because it's typically in the trash bin or in the compost pile. Yes. And so when I find things like that that people are not using, and it's something that we can save and that we can somehow incorporate into a dish, it makes me excited. So what is that it's secret broccoli ingredient? Broccoli stock. It's the broccoli Bro stock. Um, stock. S T A L K. Yes, the stock. Um, so, what we have done, and I'll show you, what I'm doing today is a play on the Benedictine sandwich. Okay. And I don't know, are you familiar with the tea no, sandwich? No, I am not. So, it's typically served, like, in Kentucky, you get it a lot at, like, maybe, like, bridal showers or baby showers. Um, you see it at the Derby a lot, but it okay. is, like, usually the cucumber tea sandwich. Um, and it's okay, like a so cream it's very English spread. Okay, so cucumber sandwich. Say, you're saying English, and it's funny because I catered for an engagement party, and the mother was from Britain, and she's the one that turned me on to the broccoli. Oh, really? Yeah. So she said she would just take the broccoli stock, and she would just slice it nice and thin, like so, and then she would put it on the sandwich with a little salt and pepper. Really? And believe it or not, it I is think, I can't really what that I want you to try it with salt and pepper, though. But by itself, it's not the same. But well, when you it's have okay. It, I don't hate it. But when you have it with a little bit of salt and pepper, it's really uh, quite nice. And it's got a really good crunch, so it's going to hold up well. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the cream cheese kind of Benedictine spread. Yep. And then we're going to it's season. It's actually really nice. Yes, it is. So we're going to nice. season the uh, broccoli um, that we've just It's got cut. a little bit of, oh, you put pepper on it. I was going to say, yeah. the stalk's got a bit of a pepper taste. It's got a peppery taste. Oh, don't <laughs> All right, so um, the Benedictine spread. We're going to take yep. some softened cream cheese. Yep. And then um, I like to season it, of course, with of some course salt you and do. pepper. Of As, course. But that's normal. Yes. Can I um, squish that together you for you? You can start mixing. I'll just start adding. Um, okay. I've got some diced cucumbers. You, so instead of doing oh, the so slices are, of the cucumbers, we're going to dice up the cucumber okay. in here. I'm also going to do just a little bit of scallions or green onions um, okay. chopped up. So I'm going to chop those. And to thin out your cream cheese, um, you can juice a tiny bit of lemon, lemon juice. Yeah. Only half of a lemon, uh, if that. You okay. really don't need much. Oh, you want you me don't to do that? It to be too you know, I you I did this last week with you, and yeah, I can't. Yeah, hold it up. There oh. you go. I'm just not Look very. Look at him go. I will say. Oh, now you said half that's, that's, or the whole. That's good. Yeah. Okay. I said you don't want the whole lemon. Oh. You probably just want like one yeah. half. Yeah. Okay. You know, I actually love cucumber sandwiches and one of my favorites is smoked salmon yes. and cream cheese smoked and cucumber. Smoked salmon would be good on this as well dill. with the broccoli, you know? Put dill in it. Yes, oh, we're getting ready to. Oh, Look at perfect. him, he's such a little chef. <laughs> Not <laughs> really. I just know what I like. So funny you mention that. Okay. I have dill and we did not plan that or no, even I rehearse did that. Not. <laughs> um, so I have some fresh dill and dill you don't even need to chop up. You really can just like take yeah, it right throw off it in. and just start breaking it apart and throwing it in there. Okay. Okay, so mix I love that, that dill in there. Okay. Putting him to work today. You guys. are. I'm working like no tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to oh, show I you kind the of the of assembly of our sandwiches okay. here. So we'll take the broccoli and we'll just layer it. Oh. You know, on our sandwich. Again, I think it's just necessary to kind of season it a little bit with that salt and pepper. And then why don't you take a little bit of that cream cheese spread. Well, do you put it on this? Oh, well, well yeah. Yeah, I put it on a piece of bread on its mm -hmm. own. I need a knife to spoon this all out. I'll just use my... And it beautiful. needs a little bit more. Mm -hmm, it sure does. You gotta have some cream cheese on there, man. So we're gonna spread that on. Yep. And then, boom. Yep. Would you? Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, you know what she didn't do, everyone? What? You didn't cut the crusts off. That's a proper English <laughs> tea sandwich. Well, let's do another one then. <laughs> Heaven to Betsy, I'm not proper. I like that. Heaven to Betsy. Thank you. <laughs> if you want to see more of this recipe, head over to WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. You're going to see us cut the slices off and put it on a beautiful tea
plate. You know, this would also make a great kids' lunch and would hold up well. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was I'm thinking, thinking more about, about us with a cup of but tea. But I'm thinking about the moms too that yeah. are watching and how this would be a very easy little sandwich for the kids. I love it. Okay, yeah. thank you again. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate a, a cucumber sandwich with broccoli. Right, I got, <laughs> and cut the crust. We'll be right back after this short break.